Hello, creating an, a scroll animation using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Let's uh, scroll our web page and see what is the animation. So I'm going to scroll this out. I'm going to click on web page and uh, scroll this. You'll see that we have this nice scroll effect when we scroll our web page. So you can also use it in your project and put anything else, replace of this content and in your animation. So let's create a DAO, but before we start writing codes, you have to hit that subscribe button to my YouTube channel. So after that here, I'm gonna go inside the Visual Studio Code. And already done, we create a folder called Scroll Animation. Inside the Scroll Animation, I'm gonna create our index.html file. So I'm gonna say index.html file. Inside this, HTML and HTML5. And we have this boilerplate and uh, I'm gonna set its title to a scroll animation. A scroll animation. And others, uh, other tutorial of mine, I type category replace of category. So uh, here inside the body, I'm gonna come and type on each one. And here I'm gonna say a scroll to see the animation. After that here, I'm gonna create a div. And this div gonna have the class of box. And inside this, I'm gonna create an each another each one and just say content. So now save it. Nothing fancy to open it up in the browser, but I do. And you see that it's looking like this. Now we have to style it. To do so, style.css file is used for styling. So uh, at the top here, I'm gonna link my, link my style.css with HTML. So I'm gonna say link. And its name is, it's href is a style dot CSS. After that, I'm gonna go inside the style dot CSS. The first thing is to select everything and set its uh, box sizing to border box. And after that here, I'm gonna come and select our body. So I'm gonna say body. And inside this, I'm gonna set its display to flex because we want to put this content at the center of our web page. And after then, I'm gonna set its a flex uh, uh, direction. So I'm gonna say flex direction to column and justify content to center. And also align items to the center. So now you can see that we have our content at the center of our web page. So I'm gonna go here and set HTML and uh, index.html and duplicate this content. So, and Visual Studio Code, Shift, Alt, Down key, and you can duplic duplicate a lines of code. And the very last thing I'm gonna do in a body is to set its uh, overflow uh, from X direction, uh, direction to hidden. It means that if we have any content at this, uh, at the X direction, which is here, at the right side and the left side, which it flows for our, from our content or from our body, it's gonna disappear it and not gonna show it for you. So after then, I'm gonna come and uh, here, what I'm gonna do is to select our boxes. So I'm gonna say box and here, and I give it a background and it's background gonna be a blue color. Yeah, so after then, I'm gonna give it a height. It's height gonna be uh, 200 pixel and it's width gonna be 400 pixels. So now if you take a look, it's looking like this. I'm gonna give it some margin. So I'm gonna come here and say margin and it's margin gonna be 10 pixels. So now you'll see it has margin, but these contents are at the corner top. So to make it center, we're gonna use flex. So I'm gonna say flex, oh, sorry display to flex and I justify uh, content to center. This is going to center this uh, from X direction. And if you want to align it from the Y direction, you're gonna use align items, a link, align items to the center. Now it is at the center. So uh, after then, I'm gonna come here and transform it to this, this tra transform it to the sides. I mean, right size, sides, and left side. So here, I'm gonna say uh, transform um, and transform translate from x direction gonna be 
400 pixel percentage and all of these gonna disappear because 400 percentage is over from our web page maybe i'm pointing with my hand <laughs> out of the window so after that um here we're also gonna give it a little transition because uh, these are gonna come in it's a relative i mean it's um it's native position again so i'm just gonna come here and say uh transition and it's transition gonna get the delay of or the time of 0 0.5 second so after this i'm gonna come here and uh, you notice in the main project when we scroll i mean I scroll it one of them one of the content come from the right side and other content come from the left side to do so i'm gonna select the even uh, boxes so i'm gonna say box and select the boxes that its type is even so after then i'm gonna set uh, i'm gonna transform it to two so just copy this out from here and paste it down here but the difference is and uh, that it's gonna move or translate to the um, uh, negative side so it is 400 pixels so that means that one of our content from here moved to the right side and others which has which are even are moved to the left side so after then i'm gonna give it a class here but i will explain this class so i'm gonna say box and remember that i put this dot attached to this box it is not separated i mean i didn't put any space here so i'm gonna say show this is going to show up our contents but i'm gonna add this class using javascript so inside this we're just gonna say um, i have already copied the, the transform translate and to put a t things in its native position as zero i mean we moved it uh, to the to the direction of uh, to x direction 400 percentage and to make it come in its native position this is gonna have to uh, you just have to put it uh, translate x to zero but we will add this class using javascript so i'm gonna come here and create our javascript so i'm gonna say a script.js and we need to make sure that our index.html file is connected with javascript so i'm going to come here at the bottom and say a script and it's src src going to refer to a script.js so now i'm going to go inside the script.js the first thing i'm going to do is to access all the boxes that we do have here so i'm going to just put this at the corner and get rid of the ribbon i mean this one just called ribbon oh, it, it, it has a shortcut in which will see your code which is control b so now I got right of them and now we have to access all these boxes to do so I'm going to come here and uh, create a variable call it uh, boxes and assign it to document dot query selector all and we're going to select all the elements that has a class of box so after then I'm going to create an even listener to window so I'm going to say window dot add even listener and it's going to listen to an, a scroll event and it's going to call a function so I'm going to say a function and this function going to be an arrow function so after then inside this what I'm going to do is to create another variable so I'm going to say const and call this one uh, inner uh, inner height of window we want to take the inner height of the window to get so we're gonna say just a window dot inner height so after this uh i'll uh after this line of code i'm gonna, I'm gonna what it called that you put a semicolon at the end of it mm, delimiter yes it's delimiter so i'm gonna put a delimiter here so after this i'm gonna loop through over all these boxes i'm gonna say boxes a dot and you we're gonna use a for each loop sorry 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 it is boxes not boxes for each and inside the for each you know that we have access to each individual element so i'm gonna say box and after that i'm gonna call an arrow function here so after that we have access to this we have to get the position of the content i mean uh, if we move here we want to uh, get the position of this content from the top so to do, uh, to get it i'm going to create a variable here call it 
box uh, top and assign it to just uh, you know memorize this line of codes uh, it, it, it isn't something that you could uh, you can memorize it I mean you can use it without googling you all the time have to google things like this so here I'm just gonna say box dot a gate bounded gate bounded client and this is going to get the uh, let me show you I just save it and console dot log it so I'm gonna say console dot log and here I'm just gonna pass the box stop so now we have to open it open up the inspect and in the console you could see nothing but because we we don't have a tools here so later I will show you so I'm, I'm gonna get rid of this and here we have a property called top uh, basically it what it does is just to get the uh, it, it, we want to compare the top size of this content uh, I mean this content uh, the last content that we do have in our web page with the entire web page so to get the uh, top I mean the top uh, space or distance of, from the content to, to to the top of inner HTML, you have to use this line of code, which is box .git bounded client rect. And from add, we have a property card top, and using that we access the top element. So I will also console .log it, uh, log it logit after we get access to elements. So after then, what I'm gonna do is to write an if condition. And inside if this if condition, we're gonna compare the top box, top, top box, uh, what is it? Where are you? Where I created, yeah, here. It is talks box. I don't know why top, why box top so here i can and say box top and sorry and sometimes you know people feel like like you are out of your mind so after this we say at in that if this number is uh, less than the inner height of the window what do we want to do is to appear this content uh, the content so to do it I want to access the boxes that we have access from the uh, property of the for each which is each in the virtual element I mean uh, maybe this one so after this I'm, uh, I'm just gonna access its class list so I'm gonna say class list and from its class list we want to add something to it what do we want to add is the show class that we have in our style.css which is this one so after this uh, if we uh, if we take a look in our project, you will see that if I scroll my, uh, you know this one, I mean web page. Ah, uh, now the contents come here, and we want to that if we scroll up, uh, the contents shouldn't be here because next time if we come down again, we could see this content. So I'm gonna come here and write an ELS statement. And inside this ELS statement, I'm just gonna copy this out from here and the uh, uh, replace of adding the uh, the show class i'm gonna remove it so i'm gonna say remove so now uh, if i go to the top i'm gonna refresh this i'm gonna scroll my button so scroll it all of these appears and appears 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 and we want to when we scroll to the top it again disappears this so again we move here you see that our contents come here but you see that these contents are a little really coming fastly I mean if we scroll slow you see that it's still our contents is not here but the other contents came here so to fix that I'm gonna go in a style.css and after the translation translation I'm gonna add a letter translation delay so I'm gonna say uh, translation delay and this is going to occur after zero point actually three seconds so now if I save it and take a look in a browser I'm gonna go at the top and scroll to the down and you will see even we scroll smoothly and slowly our content cam at its right timing so this was from our tutorial and if you guys enjoyed from this tutorial and you want to create tutorials more like this you can hit that subscribe button to my youtube channel and using that you'll really support me so take care of yourself and bye